Okay, let's go over 1486 XOR operations in array. So question says, given an integer n, so n is a number, and an integer start, and start is also a number, define an array nums where nums at index i is equal to start plus 2 times i, and we start at index 0. So array nums is going to be an array with numbers. And n is equal to the length of the numbers array. Return the bitwise XOR of all elements of numbers. So before we solve this problem, we have to know two things. One is binary numbers, and second one is how XOR operation works. Okay, let's go over binary numbers first. So binary numbers. So if you're not familiar with the binary numbers, uh, just gonna write a bunch of them down. One, two, seven, eight, nine, ten, and Alright, uh, these are numbers and binary numbers. So 1 is 0, 0, 001, 7 is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, And each binary number is evaluated this way. So the last one is 2 to the 0, and it increases 2 to the 1, uh, 2 to the 2nd, and 2 to the 3rd. It's based on 2, that's why it's called binary numbers. And let's work with uh, the first one, number 1. We have 0, 0, 0, 1 as our binary number, right? And one this <clears throat> where one is at is two to the zero right so ignore all the zeros so what's uh, two to the zero evaluate to <clears throat> two to the anything to the power of zero evaluates to one so that's one um that's how we get the number one um let's look at five so five is zero one zero one right so again this is two to the zero and this one is uh two to the second so what is 2 to the second evaluate to? Evaluates to 4. And this one, again, 2 to 0 evaluates to 1, right? And I said 2 to, zero, uh, two to the second evaluates to 4. I think I said 1 before. And what we do is we add these two. So 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. That's how we convert binary numbers to regular numbers. And now let's go over um, x, o, r operation. Okay, so we're going to have x, y, and x to the y. All right, and just... Just going to write the whole thing down again. Okay. In an uh, XOR operation, uh, when you have the same thing, like 0, 0, and 1, 1, it's going to evaluate to 0. And when you have different digits, like 0 and 1, or 1 and 0, it's going to evaluate to 1. So think of this as, um, if you remember in your math class, um, when you do like plus, minus an operation this is usually um so let's say that you're multiplying a positive number and a negative number it's gonna be negative right when you do negative and negative it's positive when you do positive and positive it's positive when you do negative and positive it's negative it's it's pretty much the same let's go over an example so in example one we have n is equal to five and star is equal to zero and somehow we get an output of 8. So when n is equal to 5, that means the length of our array is going to be 5. And what we get as our array is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So it has a length of 8, right? And it's um, the numbers are star plus 2 times i. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to write all these numbers in binaries. So 0 is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, and 2 is 1, 0, 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0, 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0, and 8 is 1,000, 1, 0, 0, 0. And now we want to perform XOR operations. So let's, let's go over a few ones. 0 is 0 is going to evaluate to 0. 0, 0 is also going to evaluate to 0. 0, 0 is going to evaluate to 0. And 0 and 1 here is going to evaluate to 1. And we do this for all the columns like this. Okay, so I did all the calculations and you can try them yourself too. We are left with 1, 0, 0, 0. And if you remember our binary numbers, this is 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2nd, and finally this is 2 to the 3rd. So all these stuff just zeros ignore. And what's 2 to the 3rd? 2 to the 3rd is 8. So if you look at our output, we get an 8, right? And that's how we get our final result. So now that we know our binary, what binary number is and what exactly XOR operation is, 
let's try to code our solution. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an array of whatever numbers that we're supposed to get. So I'm going to do star plus two times i for each number. Okay, so let's just make an um, variable let nums array and I'm just going to set it equal to an empty array and for let i is equal to zero. I'm going to start at index zero. i is less than n and increment by one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to num push in the number after doing the operation. So it's telling us to do start plus two times times i. We're just doing this because the problem is telling us to do this for each numbers array. And let's just check our array. So let me do return nums array. Okay, nums oh nums array dot push. So we get 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 3, 5, 7, 9. So 3, 5, 7, 9. So this one is correct. So we now have an array of uh, the operations that our problem wanted us to do. So star plus 2 times i. And if we check the length, uh, n for the first one is 5, right? So we have 5 numbers here, 4 numbers here, 1 number here, and 10 numbers here. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is now we have to do the uh, x or operation. So I'm just going to make a variable named result. And now I want to return result here. Result. All right. So I'm just going to do a, another for loop here. Um, so for let i is equal to zero, i is less than nums array dot length and increment by one. So I want to go to the nums array and we want to do the x or operation, right? And x or operation is performed like this. Hat is equal to um, nums array index i. So we're going to do the x or operation on the current number at index i. And if we check our answers, it's 8872, right? And if we go back and check our answers on the top, I'll put 8872. So there we go. That's our solution. Okay, um, hey guys, let's go over um, our code one more time just to um, understand it a little better. So we declare our function xor operation, which takes in two parameters, n and start, which is an integer. And first thing we want to do is we want to um, basically do the operations that our problem wants us to do. So nums array is going to have an array with numbers. Um, and the operations that we do is start plus two times i. And that's what we did here. So we basically uh, change the numbers or let's do yeah, change numbers because that's what the problem wanted us to do. And next, after we are done with that, we do x or operation here. So we go through all the numbers in our array and um, we perform x or our operation here. And that's done with hat and an equal sign at current number. And finally, when we're done with both of these two loops, we return our result. Um, let's go over one more example just to get a better understanding. So example two is four, n is equal to four and star at three, right? So we get an array with three, five, seven, and nine. Here we go. <clears throat> That's the array that we get. And what was three and binary number? So binary number is zero, zero, one, one, four, three. Five is zero, one, zero, one. And seven is zero, one, one, one. Um, and 9 is 0, I mean 1, 0, 0, 1. And if you remember your x or operation, so basically if it's same, it's 0, different, it's 1. So 0, 0, we have, and this is going to evaluate to 0. 0, 1 is going to evaluate to 1. And we have 0 here and 1 here, and that's going to evaluate to 1 again. And 0, 1 is 1, just going to write on the side. 1, 0 is 1, it's same, so evaluates to 0. So 1, 0 is 1 again, 1, 0 is 1 again, and so this is going to be 0. So we have 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 is going to evaluate to 0. So we have 1, 0, 0, 0, right? And 1, 0, 0 is going to evaluate to 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 3rd. So what's 2 to the 3rd? 2 to the 3rd is 8. That's how we get 8 again. And the rest is pretty much the same for 
uh, numbers three and four. And I'll, if I were you, I would just um, practice the writing everything down just for practice, uh, just just to get a better understanding overall.